Hello, it's Collector Sleuth here, and today I have a Jen Planning, Santa Jack and Santa Sally, and the Diamond Select, um, Santa Jack and Santa Sally. Um, I purchased these both off eBay, and I purchased this set first, the Diamond Select set, and then I saw this set for about the same price, and so I would have rather had the Jen Planning, so I also bought the Jen Planning. So, um, we're going to compare them today. So, let's start with the Diamond Select set. And uh, now I purchased this off eBay, so it does have some imperfections, and they mentioned it, like there's a tear in the box right here. And there is the Diamond Select logo. So we know this is uh, Diamond Select and not Gen Planning, so. And I've been kind of interested to see, like, what the difference is between them. Uh, some of you guys in the comments on previous videos told me uh, some differences in that the, uh, the Diamond Select does come with stands. Um, which I know the gem planning don't because that's the, the set I have is usually gem planning ones And so yeah, we'll take a look at those. So anyway this diamond select set they come with a bag each And this obviously looks like it's been opened before so we're going to go ahead and take them out Yeah, she's not uh, sealed in there well, She she feels heavy This is uh, her legs are definitely rubber like a I don't know what that is. She's got some uh yeah, I mean, that's just common of, of uh, some rubber to have some of these little holes in there, but uh, it's got some scuffing on the back. Oop. What that is. So we got, she's got a velvety dress on. Her hair is also a rubbery material. She's definitely rubber. Let's see what her face is made out of. It's like a harder plastic. Her mouth is opened. Very cute. Got like this um, different material for her belt there as well, and some cottony fluffies um, for the trim on her dress here. And so she does come with a stand. Well, this is the first time I've taken these out of the box. I bought these not that long ago. Um, so let's check the stands out. Looks like this one's taller, so let's check. Okay, there's that. So that's really, really nice that these come with a stand. That's my biggest complaint on the Gen Planning, is they don't come with stands. It's very annoying. Um, let's see how we're going to get you on there, Sally. kind of tight. Okay. Move her belt. Don't want to pinch in her belt. Okay. Let's tighten it a little bit. There we go. And her arms are posable. Feels like they might be posable at the the elbow. No, it doesn't seem to be. Okay. Her waist moves. I didn't even notice that. Her waist does move. See, like that, backwards and forwards. Oh, her hat's cute. So there she is. Oh, don't break it. Okay. Alright. Now let's look at Jack. Yeah, these have been, you can see, um, where they would have been twist tied to the package. I don't even see the twist ties in there. So, yeah, these have definitely been opened and displayed once before. He's got some, um, threads here that are sticking out. I don't know if I want to cut that off. Trying to find a way to hide it. There we go. But anyway, he's uh okay. He's got a hard plastic boot and rubbery hands, rubber face, uh, velvet type suit or felt or whatever you call that stuff. Um
And his he moves here at the knee, and I want to say, and at the these move, knees move, arm moves. Looks like Sally's might too. I don't know. Didn't seem to want to. Okay. And here's his stand. Oh yeah, see, and it's even like thinner, this piece is, because he's, you know, much smaller waisted than Sally. So, it's, that's why it's so nice that they provide stands, because it's hard to buy a stand or find a stand on the market, uh, you know, a standard stand that fit these, these characters. Sally would be a little easier probably to find a stand for than Jack. Jack having such a small waist. Okay, he's got that cute belt on as well. All right, I'm playing with this hat here. So there he is. Okay. Get for the green bag, he gets the brown bag. Okay, tan. All right, so it also came with this bag of toys. And here's the certificate of authenticity. This is 1936 of 1993. Um, 1993, that's the year it was the movie was made. I've seen them do this limited edition number uh, quite a bit because of that. So, Okay, now this has not been opened, so I'm going to gently open that. Oh yeah, it just pulls open. Oh, oh, it's an ornament! See, look at that. Or is it? Maybe it pulls on something. I don't know. I mean, you can't really hang it like that because it wouldn't do... I don't know. Okay, let's put that there. And then we got Jack in the box and a cat in the box. I guess you can change it to either one. Oh, got scuffed. There's some black scuffing right here from the... Yeah, the problem with this rubbery stuff is it does, like, get scuff marks on it. Okay. So I guess you can use, I don't I think it came with an orange one of these. So you can make it the jack in the box, like so. Or the cat in the box. Oh, he's cute. So there's that, um, and that's it on the on this set. Uh, this is the Diamond Select set. And so let's take a look at the Gen Planning set. Now this one I also bought off eBay, so it does have a tear in the box. I was aware of that, a tear here. So the box is not perfect. Um, it's actually kind of pretty beat, actually, a little bit. They got a pretty good sized tear there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take them out, since the box isn't great. Um, So I'm just going to, I'm not probably going to take them off. Well, I don't know. We'll see. If I uh, want to do that or not. But I'm just going to at least slide them out. Because they are still uh, fastened in. And I will probably will display them in the box. Um, even though the box isn't super perfect. And all my other gym planning. Um... The ones that are in these bigger boxes like this. I in the box is how I display those. Now the coffin dolls I took out and put on stands that don't quite fit, but like I said, the jump planning doesn't come with stands. So as you can see, these do not have any stands with them, which is very annoying. So if you did want to take these out of the box and display them, uh, that becomes a lot more challenging. But let's uh 
Let's go ahead and take a look at these in the box. Yeah, Sally has the same kind of rubbery legs as that Sally. Now her face to me looks different on this one. Considerably different. Let's grab this other. We'll grab this other Sally and put it next to it in just a minute. But they still have the same kind of velvety dress. Uh, fluff. Uh, it's kind of fluffing. Looks to be the same. I glare on this. There you go. I think Jack's face does look slightly different than the Diamond Select one. On this one, actually, I think this one, the Gem Planning one here, looks better. And his beard is different. This one's a lot. Man, this one looks soft. I'm gonna touch it. Yeah, this one looks really soft. So, and obviously, the bag is different. This one says, uh, Merry Christmas, 1999. And this looks like 1224 is the date, which is. New Year's Eve, 1999, uh, 2,400 pieces. So there's more of these than those. Uh, so here's this. But also same hard plastic boots. So they are very, very, very similar. Um, but let's look at the Sally's though. Those, the Sally's look the most different. We'll take her off. And this one, this Sally feels really heavy. I haven't lifted her, so I can't. Uh, compare the weight, but okay. Oh, okay, and the buckles are different too. See have the buckle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the buckle on Jack looks about to be about the same. They look a lot alike. Okay, so let's put this down again. Hate the glare in here. Sorry about that. And then here's Sally's. But as you can see, their faces actually look a lot different. The eyelashes are completely different. Uh, the mouth looks different. The eyes are different. I would say the nose is a little bit different too. So yeah, they are different. Um, This belt buckle, it looks like they're the same. Yeah, they look to be very similar. So there's the Sally's side by side. I will say this Sally feels kind of heavy. It looks like she still has the same plasticky hair though. Like it's not yarn or uh, resin or anything like that. It's actually... A, a type of rubbery plastic material. And now I'm going to grab the Gen Planning Jack. And we can look at those side by side. Or not, sorry, Diamond Select Jack. Okay. My problem with his is his legs are hyped up. Okay. The beards look to me different. But that could be because this one's just. I don't know. They're a little different, I think. Maybe not. Maybe this one's just been on display and has been flayed out a little bit more. But like I said, you know, their faces are very similar. They are a little different, though. I think this one looks a little bit better than this one. Let's see if I can lay him in there. Very much alike, though. The same like yellow teeth. Uh, displayed a little different though. Yeah, I mean these are a little yellower than these, and um, there seems to be more of them, or they're closer together. I'm not sure which. But anyway, uh, there's the comparison between a Gen Planning set and a Diamond Select set. Let's see. It looks like Jack's bent or is posable in the same areas: knees, elbows. I wonder if she can bend. That, that Diamond Select Sally can bend at the waist. She's kind of latched in there, so I can't confirm if she bends or not. I don't want to take her out, so. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because I kind of like how they have them displayed in the box, so I'll probably keep them that way. Also, because I don't have a stand, which is annoying. I hate, I hate that Jump Plane does not give you stands. 
But if you're an in-the-box uh, display uh, collector, then it's not a big deal because you just leave them in the box. But if you want to take them out of the box and display them on a shelf, um, that becomes problematic for, these, for the types of dolls that can't stand on their own. Anyway, guys, there is the comparison. Um, in my opinion, I'm thinking I'm really liking the Gen Planning set more. But at the same time, uh, the Diamond Select still looks pretty good. And they come with stands. So it just depends on what you want. And, um, well, anyway, guys, uh, also this did not come with any toys, uh, like the Diamond Select set came with the, the little toys over here. And so, uh, as far as, like, if you own one set or, and not the other, there really is no reason unless you just are that type of collector that likes to have both, uh, variants. Uh, to me, the sets are very, very similar. If you have one, you really don't need the other. So I'm not decided what I'm going to do with this set, if I'm going to keep it and display them on a stand, on a shelf, where I can, and just leave these in the box. That's probably what I'm going to do. Um, if I had seen this set first, and purchased it first, I would not have purchased this set. But since I purchased this first, and then I saw this one come up on eBay for a price that I was willing to pay, I thought, well, I'd really rather have the Gen Planning, because I have the Gen Planning of the, uh, some of the other dolls. And I don't have any of the Diamond Select dolls. I wasn't going to start those, because they're similar to the Gen Planning ones. So anyway, guys, though, um, I hope this video was informative, and that you can kind of see the difference between the different brands, and which one, if you haven't started collecting, which one you would prefer to start collecting. So anyway, um, that's going to be it, and I thank you for watching, and please subscribe.